Hello and welcome to Polk Place. I'm Brian Lacey and joining me in studio, Jamie Jameson from the Polk History Center. Yes. One of one of a few places I see you. Yeah. Uh, I, I see I, you here at PGTV. Quite often. Yeah, yeah. We've got a regular standing date at this yeah, point. Yeah, <laughs> every month, this time, this day. Yeah, got to share with people what's going on and what they can come out and see. And speaking of what's going on, August still hot. Still hot, but back to school. Are yeah. you excited? Yeah, I don't know. look at me, man. Am I excited? <laughs> I'm losing it. You're you losing know why? Because <laughs> I don't have to go back to school. I know. I know. Don't tell the kids that. That's our secret. <laughs> <Ferme la bouche. laughs> we don't get summers off, but we also don't have to go back to school. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so talk to me a little bit about August. What do we got going on? Yeah, so we've got some great events coming up in August. Um, our first of which is our uh, August Lunch and Learn speaker. And our Lunch and Learn speaker for this month month is Mr. David Latassi and David has made a career out of hunting, finding, sourcing, and studying fossils. Um, and some of which in Polk County, he has been through some of the phosphate mine um, piles and refuse and yeah. has gone through and identified some fossils. So he's really going to give us kind of a, you know, 20,000 level view of prehistoric Florida but he also wants you to bring in any fossils that you might have found mm -hmm. while you're out exploring, you know, walking on one of the, one of our mini trails, maybe Sumica or one of those, and he's gonna give you some insight on what you can do to research it, date it, and figure out what it is. So we're really excited to have him. Have you ever been down to the Phosphate Museum? I have not. Yeah. I have a three-year-old though, yeah. so I know that's coming up where I just gotta let yeah. him loose in the pile. Yeah, in the pile. <laughs> I don't see, see. I'm yeah. a grown man and I like digging through the pile. <laughs> it is actually one of the most popular uh, exhibits that we have at the History Center with children is we have a little uh, mm -hmm. mock sifter and they yep. love to go in there and touch all the fossil pieces. And the thing that blows me away is the size of that, uh, the bucket that oh, yeah. actually picks that up. Yeah, the drag it's line. Huge, <laughs> it's Tampa. huge. I had to, I was working on a project and I had to figure out something that was iconic for the city of Mulberry. You yeah. know, Lake Wales, you got Bach Tower, yep. Auburndale, you got the city hall. Mulberry is a drag line. Yeah, yeah. The drag lines are more iconic than the buildings themselves. I love coming up uh, 37, mm -hmm. looking to the right, over there. I'm like, hey, uh -huh. I see the drag line. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There's the bucket. And I, I do hear they get a pretty fresh pile pretty regularly. Yeah. So I'm going to wait till it's a little bit cooler, though, yeah. before yeah. I My guess is there. they know somebody in the business. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one or two people. Maybe one or two. <laughs> so what else we got going on? So Preston's Genealogy Speaker Series continues through, and you'll want to uh, tune in for that because he goes through October, and then we take November and December off. So if you've not participated yet, you're running out of options or getting close to the end of the year, which is bonkers to say. But this one is particularly on the John F. German Library which is part of the Hillsborough County Library Public System. And um, it is the specific to the Historical and Genealogical Library over there. So similar to our Historical and Genealogical Library at the Polk County History Center, they have microfilm records, um, paper records, family Bibles, all sorts of things that can help um, anyone who's working on their genealogical history. So five, six months ago, we're talking about, you know, uh, what is it, the records from the 1950 oh, yes, census. Oh, yes, 1950 census. I'm watching TV the other night, and I feel like it's deja vu all over again because everything we talked about five, six months ago is current in this commercial oh. about, I, I can't remember what the commercial is, but they're talking about, do you want to know what your parents were doing in the 1950s? Yep. <laughs> the census, I was like, they were on my show talking about we this. Were, we've already exactly. covered that. Polk That's History old Center, news. already way above. We're on it. top of old news. Exactly. <laughs> so what else we got going on? Um, so we have also the uh, tour of the History Center. So that is on the third Saturday of the month at 11. And I know I saw on Facebook some people were really upset that they missed the last one. So make sure third Saturday, 11 o'clock, mark that in your calendar because I cannot emphasize how much you do not want to miss a tour with Bartholomew. Yep. He is one of the most interesting people that I know, and he makes the tour very interesting. Also, I know I say this every time, air conditioning. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and the cool thing, there's an old saying that says, don't dress for the job you have, dress for the job that you want. And the way he presents oh, that yeah. with, the, you know, the way he comes out in the, in the hat and everything, very, very cool and just a nice little touch to the tour. Yes, and there's nothing more that makes his day than sharing history and, and he's so personable being around people. 
So, and that kind of takes us through the month of August. You know, as we roll into the school year, I have to say, everybody needs to come visit the Polk Services Gallery and check out our education exhibit. Um, you know, what's really interesting about that as a permanent exhibit is it really talks about the development of schools, first being um, city-based, and then the school board, and the county, and private schools, marching bands. Yeah. I know, I know there's a few people in wow. Polk County that get into some marching bands. But um, what I think people forget sometimes is that they can wander on up to the second floor of the library and we have a yearbook collection as well. So oh, wow. those yearbooks are fantastic. I can't tell you how many times we're working on exhibits about people from Polk County and I go, oh, I'll go look in the yearbook. And I go up there in the yearbook and I find them. AJ Jackson, our presenter last month, um, I hope I didn't embarrass him. I pulled some high school photos of him <laughs> from Bartow High School, and um, it was cute. It was fun. So definitely, you know, kick off the school year getting really into the spirit and learning about the history of schools in Polk County. The cool thing about being an Ohio kid, you guys are not going <laughs> to find any pictures of me. <laughs> Don't challenge me. <laughs> are you challenging me? <laughs> I have Dorinda and Preston. I don't know if you know my resources. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I wish I would have just kept my mouth shut. Yep, Ohio. <laughs> Brian Lacey. Oh, military, too. I'll have to look for there some military yep. yearbooks. Um, there might be some video. <laughs> might be. Yeah. So what else we got going on? You know, just our regular tour programs. Uh, this is the transition time of year for us. And as we roll into September, you're going to see some really great programming on Constitution Day. Yeah. So Constitution Day is September 17th every year. And what we have done is we've taken a look at the citizenship test. And we've put together some social media questions just to see, you know, those of us that are born in this country, can we answer the questions that are on the citizenship test? AKA, did you pay attention in 12th grade U.S. government class? Yes, I did. Good. And 11th grade U.S. history? Yeah, history and Perfect. government. Had, yep. the, had the same uh, basketball coach, Ron Barbo, taught it. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. I always had to pay attention. I had Mr. Caro. Yeah. Mr. Caro was interesting. Is that a nice thing to say? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, had you gone eclectic, I'd, I'd, eclectic, I would have, oh, yes. yeah, yeah, I would, I would have, interesting. Question. but interesting, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Learned a lot. Yeah. Um, so, but anyways, you know, if you're not following us on Facebook, um, following the county on Facebook, you want to do that because then you can go to lunch and quiz your coworkers. Yeah. And you'll know the answer. So you can make them go, oh, I need to really study up. But it's really to put emphasis on the fact of the Constitution being our founding document and being this living document that continues to change and evolve um, in order for us to enjoy the democracy that we enjoy. We got about 30 seconds left. Inspire those out there to make the roadie to the Polk Ooh, History Center and, and visit y'all. Visit me? Okay. So I'm going to say that you're going to see oak trees, beautiful architecture, azaleas, and wonderful people in Bartow. And we're so excited anytime people come in. I will tell you, the one thing we hear over and over again, it's Polk County's hidden secret. Well, I tell you what, we will see you in August yeah. next time. You yeah. come back and see me? Yes, I will. And we'll get ready to talk about Halloween and Christmas. All right, all right, <laughs> all right. Thank you. All right, see you. Polk has a rich history and heritage, and the Polk History Center is continuously thinking of new ways to help Polk residents experience that history. The museum's collection includes natural and cultural objects related to Polk and the greater Central Florida area that represent our history from pre-Columbian to present day eras. The artifacts on display at the museum represent individuals, cultural groups, and events significant to the region. Now they're located at 100 East Main Street in Bartow. The History Center is open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. And if you need more information about exhibits, events, anything, check them out on the web at polkhistorycenter.org or give them a call 863-534-4386.